question 5.6 asks which of these configuration options could result in the following object slash counts so what we're giving here is a quantum circuit and then we execute a simulation and you know we're supposed to replace this by the options that are given to us and then uh, what we get here is, is this get memory option which returns a list with every single one of the measurements that happened during the execution so if we run this circuit a certain number of times then you know in the first shot we get this result in the second shot this other one and so on and so forth so this is slightly different than getting the number of counts because when when we uh, use get counts what what we get is a, a dictionary where um, the each of the states in this case let's say zero zero is the key and then the value is the number of times uh, this result happens so in this case it will be uh, one, two, three, four times. So we will get a dictionary with key zero, zero and the value of four and, and the same for each of the other options. But here we're getting a full list which each, with each individual result. So let's go ahead and, and copy this, this code. Let's, let's first just copy the circuit. And you know, as usually we're gonna do from Qiskit, import quantum circuit. Um, and then we're gonna paste our circuit here and let's just draw it uh, we can see that it's just two Hadamard gates and then measuring each one of them and then let's copy the rest of this code down here and then this this portion that we're supposed to replace uh, let's just take option one and replace it by that now as you can see here um, we're using this state vector simulator and and um, a way to do this is we can we can from Qiskit, uh, sorry providers uh, air import uh, that state vector simulator, uh, but this works the same way as importing air and doing the get backend method where we pass state vector simulator as well. Uh, so so what this is going to run is a state vector simulation. Um, and then uh, return a result. Now let's also um, remember to import from Qiskit, uh, execute. And if we run this, we see that we get an error. And this is because when trying to run a state vector simulation, this get memory method is really not available. Or rather, um, the simulation does not return uh, this uh, list of, of results that we would get from this get memory method. Okay, so um, let's move to uh, the second option here. And I mean, there's really no need to run this because here we can see that what's gonna happen is that we run this, uh, it's gonna be only 10 shots, but here we have a total of 15 results. And the next one, option three, is exactly identical, uh, but with 15 shots. So this is very likely to be our answer. And um, if we go here and paste this, well, first, um, just like before, we need to import this chasm simulator. So uh, we do from Qiskit providers air import chasm simulator and then let's go ahead and just copy and paste this right here and replace what we had before with a new um the new option option two and when we run that we can see that we get something similar to to what we were asked and now the last one which is is um, of course, incorrect is, is number four because here is setting this memory option to false. So what's going to happen is that it's just not going to return uh, this this result, right? So if we run that, it, we're going to get an error. There we go. There we have it. Okay, so that's it. So the answer uh, to this question is um, option three.